Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our read aloud. Everybody come over and take your seats on the carpet. Okay, rug spots. Everyone getting your rug spots. Perfect. Today's read aloud is going to be on D is for desert. Okay? I thought it would be a great topic since we live out here in Phoenix, Arizona, and we live in the desert. So what do we already know about the desert? Make sure you raise your hand. No calling out. Okay, Jen, there's hot weather. Okay, great. Maria, what do you have to say? There's no, it doesn't rain a lot in the desert. Okay, that sounds great. Um, Chris, what do you have to say? There's a lot of different cactus, cacti in the desert. Great, great. Um, Michael, there's sand everywhere. Okay, sometimes the deserts have a lot of sand. And Brian, there's a lot of different animals in the desert. Okay, let's talk about animals for a second. What kind of animals are in the desert? Lisa. There's a lot of different camels. Okay, some deserts have camels. We'll write that up here. Camels. Peter. Snakes. Okay, we have snakes in the desert. Lily. Lizards. Okay, there's a lot of different lizards out in the desert. John. Coyotes. Okay, the Phoenix Coyotes is the name of our hockey team out here. There's coyotes in the desert. Okay, so a few more. Rabbits, birds, scorpions. Okay, so we've listed a whole bunch of desert animals. Um, I have our what we know list that we just went over, so we'll put that up on the easel so we can all take a look at it. And then I took the liberty, I made a word wall. Um, these are different names of different kinds of, or different types of deserts uh, that are all over the world. The Sahara Desert, the Gobi Desert, Polar Deserts, Death Valley, Zion National Park, the Mojave Desert and the Sonoran Desert. That's the one we live in. Okay, so we are about to begin our read aloud. D is for desert. In order to not make the presentation as long as it would take to read this whole book, I've just picked certain letters, but every letter in the book describes a specific element of a different desert around the world. So let's take a look at A. Around one-third of the land surface of the planet Earth is desert. Deserts may be covered in dust, stones, or snow. They may be oceans of sand or rivers of ice, mountain peaks and sand dunes, or rocky plains. All deserts share one characteristic. There is little water available. A desert receives less than 10 inches of rain a year, and most of it comes in the form of violent storms. Because desert air is so dry and the sun's rays are so strong, any water evaporates very quickly. Deserts like the Sahara in northern Africa and the Thar in India and Pakistan have daytime temperatures so high that an egg can fry on the sand. Not all deserts are hot. Cold deserts like the Gobi in China and Mongolia and the Patagonian Desert in Argentina are more frigid than a freezer. Fog and snow bring moisture to cold deserts. The land near the north and south poles is a desert because the, nearly all of the water is locked up in sheets of ice. So A is for arid. Arid begins with the letter A. It's a word that means very dry. For 400 years in the al Desert, no rain fell from the sky. For 400 years. So I have a question. Are all deserts hot? Brian, what? no, not all deserts are hot, right? We just learned that some are very frigid, some are cold. The Gobi in China, it's up on the word wall, is, can be cold. There's polar deserts, that's up on our word wall. They can be freezing, more frigid than a freezer. Okay, so we're going to move through our book, and we're going to stop at the letter L. L is for lizard, basking in the desert sun, until its body gets too hot, then to the shade it runs. The thorny devil, the Gila monster, an Australian bearded dragon. The desert is home to a variety of lizards, many with fierce sounding names. These cold-blooded reptiles manage their body temperature by scurrying in and out of the shade. So there are a lot of different types of lizards in the desert. Okay, we are going to turn the page, and we are going to stop at P. P 
P is for polar deserts, a white land of ice and snow. Here temperatures may plummet to 100 below zero. Wow. So I didn't realize myself even that there were polar deserts. I just thought, like you guys, that all deserts were hot. So let's take a look and see what it says. Antarctica is a land of extremes. It is the coldest, iciest, windiest, highest, and driest continent on Earth. This polar desert is blanketed by a thick ice sheet containing 90% of all the ice on the planet. Blizzards with hurricane force winds cause whiteout conditions. Inland mountains surrounded, surround the Mercador Dry Valleys where winds blow away the snow, leaving a Martian-like landscape of bare rock. Rainfall rarely reaches this desert valley floor, and then only a few drops fall. The lowest temperature on Earth, minus 128 degrees, was recorded at a research, research station here. Wow, so that's really interesting. Polar deserts. What continent did we say that the polar deserts were on? Does anyone recall? Antarctica? Great. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to move on. We are going to talk about the letter S. S is for Sahara, the largest, hottest desert in the land. Stretching across North Africa are mountains, dunes, and seas of sand. The Sahara Desert is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records for its size and its temperatures. It is the largest hot desert on Earth and crosses 11 countries in Africa. Heat waves skimmer above the desert floor with the hottest temperature 136 degrees. Wow, you guys thought Arizona was hot. What's the highest temperature it gets out here? 112, 113? Well, wow, it gets a little hotter in the Sahara Desert, guys. 136 degrees. It was recorded. And that was in the shade. Nighttime temperatures can plummet to below zero in the mountains. The average rainfall in the Sahara Desert is just three inches a year. Okay, so we are moving on. Let's stop at the letter V. Viper begins with the letter V. This snake with poisonous glands strikes out at its next victim while hiding in the sand. The Sahara Sand Viper is an ambush hunter using rapid sideways movements. The, snakes burrow, the snake burrows into the, into the loose sand. Only its eyes and upper lips are visible. The forked tongue flicks in and out, retrieving sensory information. It waits for a passing lizard, rodent, or small animal. And once prey is detected, the snake strikes. Its long, sharp fangs inject a deadly dose of venom from the poisonous glands above the hollow front teeth. The venom attacks the blood cells, causing the prey to die very quickly. A large meal can satisfy the, snake, the snake's food and water requirements for several weeks. Rattlesnakes are members of the viper family. These snakes have small pits between their eyes and nostrils. A rattlesnake can travel quickly by coiling its body and moving diagonally across the hot sand. So who's heard of rattlesnakes, right? What's one kind? The Arizona Diamondback, Diamondbacks are a baseball team out here, right? That's a different type of snake. Raise your hands if you've ever seen a rattlesnake out in the desert here. Everybody? Everybody seen a rattlesnake? Okay, good. We're going to move on. The last thing I wanted to go over in the read aloud today is the definition. What is a desert? A desert is a bone dry place. Most of the world's deserts are hot deserts with scorching daytime temperatures for most of the year. The Sahara Desert in Africa and the Mojave Desert in North America are hot deserts. Cold deserts have daytime temperatures that can dip below freezing for part of the year. Many cold deserts receive half their moisture in the form of snow. The Gobi Desert in Central Asia and the Great Basin Desert in North America are cold deserts. The polar desert of Antarctica is frigid. There are many deserts above the equator along the Tropic of Cancer and below the equator along the Tropics of Capricorn. Near the equator, the climate is warm and wet. As air moves farther away from the equator, it gets sucked down 
and becomes a dry wind. The wind is very strong over the tropics of Cancer and the tropics of Capricorn. Rain clouds are rare. The deserts in Africa and Australia lie in these areas. Some deserts like the top Talikaming and the Gobi in Central Asia are dry because they are located in the middle of the continent, far from the ocean. By the time air reaches the center of the continent, it has dropped all of its moisture and is very dry. Mountains can act like wind barriers or rain, shadow, or rain shadows. Most clouds dump all of the rain or snow on one side of the mountain range, creating a dry desert on the other side. The North American deserts are rain shadow deserts. So that concludes our read aloud, D is for desert. Okay, now I would like to work on something with you guys. We figured out the different kinds of animals in the desert. We already had an idea of what we knew about the desert before we read our book, but now let me ask you guys a few questions. What do we know about the desert now that we didn't know before? Okay, the temperatures in, this, in polar deserts are cold. Okay, that was something I didn't know. There's many different kinds of animals in deserts. Okay, great. So, what I want you guys to work on now, and you guys can take a look at your word wall, and your animal list, and what we know, and what we now know. Think about what we've talked about. I want everyone, I'm going to hand out pieces of paper. I want you guys to fold the paper in half. Okay? So we're going to have two spaces on the front and two spaces on the inside. After we fold the paper in half, I want us to draw a picture on each side. We're going to do desert number one and desert number two. Okay? They have to be two different kinds of deserts. Two deserts that we just talked about. We can do a very hot desert and a very cold desert and we can think about the different types of um, animals that are in those deserts, the different type of land, the different topography, whether one has snow and one has sand. And then on the inside, on one side, we're going to list all of the different kind of animals we might find on the desert. And then on the other side, we're going to list the different types of weather that may be found in the desert. Okay? So, the different types of weather we talked about so far are very hot temperatures, and sometimes very cold temperature deserts. All the characteristics of a desert, what's the one thing that it has to have for its criteria? Okay, Susan, what do you think? It has to have a very low amount of rain, so it can have be a polar desert, or it could be a hot desert, as long as it doesn't rain. Perfect, that's a great answer. So everyone come up, grab a sheet of paper, make sure we fold it in half, and we're going to have the different types of deserts, two different types, one on each side, and on the inside we're going to list the different kinds of animals on one side and the different type of weather on the other side to make sure we understand everything we just read about. Okay? So go ahead everyone, we're going to hand out a sheet of paper and we're going to begin our lesson. Thank you.